talking about trying to make an impact. Hi, welcome to SCW, the wrestling channel here on youtube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video subscriber right now. Hit the bell above to keep updated with every video as and when it's uploaded. Like and share the video, Let's spread the word out of SCW. Please let me know your comments as well in the comments below. Jeff Jarrett is in charge now. He's the head honcho of Impact Wrestling. Dave Meltzer reported on the Wrestling Observer Radio that Anthem is steering clear of spending too much money and they're looking to cut down on talent. And that's a bit of sad news that she's still looking to get rid of talent because in my personal opinion I think they need to bring a few more names in and perhaps even some big names as well just to really give Impact a, a new lease of life going forward anyway back to report there's reported a lot of ha unhappiness as many within the company were looking to see someone new brought in to run operations but instead they've got Jarrett Jarrett was basically brought in on the plate to be the bad guy to terminate people but in regards to creative he is now going to be going forward the last set of Impact tapings were actually the same old creative regime but uh, is sent to change the next set of tapings so the general feeling is talents will be repositioned into their roles in the company and changes will be phased in so uh, it looks like there's going to be a few changes in impact wrestling perhaps new people at the top of the card new people sliding down the card um, be interested to see who is going to move up and down when it comes to that sort of way of impact wrestling at the moment um, but I mean to be fair on impact on the whole I don't think it's been too bad of a show personally I'm not really have too much negative things to say about impact as watching it as a TV show um, but I do think that certain characters so maybe could change a uh particularly Aaron Rex. I'm not a fan of that character change at the moment. Uh, perhaps maybe a change of the uh, Impact Grand Championship maybe could go back to just being a normal championship rather than like an MMA style with judges and rounds. For me, it just doesn't connect really on that sort of level. So I think Impact, they, they've got some some changes that perhaps do need to be made. I think with like, someone like Jeff Jarrett sort of behind the helm and sort of making the, the calls and the plays, we may go back to Impact sort of of the earlier days and maybe we could get some really good booking come out of this. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with Jeff Jarrett in sort of the head when it comes to the creative side of things obviously I'm not looking forward to seeing the terminated uh, side of things because personally for me the impact talent I think uh, I, I'm quite a fan of, of quite a few on the roster I'd hate to see them cut and leave but uh, we'll have to wait and see as and when it plays on but there is more to this update TNA Impact Wrestling is going to partner with Pro Wrestling Noah. That's right, the Japanese company. The announcement has been made that uh, earlier today in Tokyo, Japan, Impact Wrestling and Pro Wrestling Noah have come to terms on a working relationship. This is an exciting time for both companies with more formal announcement coming soon. In a pre press conference held earlier today, Noah President Masayuki Yoshida, now apologies if I said that wrong, has made the official announcement. We look forward to making a formal announcement soon in Tokyo and seeing Impact Stars compete on Noah's Yohama event on March 12th. We are thrilled to build this relationship even further with more details to come. So uh, you have to stay close to impactwrestling.com and all their social media channels for more on this exciting partnership when it comes out, which uh, is great news really when you look at it. Of course, New Japan Pro Wrestling is perhaps the second biggest wrestling company in the world and they're partnered with ROH. You can see the benefit when you look at those two companies how they share their wrestlers on each of their shows and we get to learn a bit more about the talents that both of the companies have and uh, it sort of expands the word of, of both companies out there and I think this would be the same for these two companies as well help impact when it comes to uh, their Japanese market and I think as well that Noah it will benefit in the American market as well so I think that there's only a win-win from this situation of course the rosters then will be enhanced on their own and perhaps it would make sense then with some of the cuts that may happen maybe it's people that don't have really a room on the TNA or the Impact roster anymore and maybe we'll see these superstars come in in their place and maybe that could work and we could see some exciting matchups come along, we'll have to wait and see as and when it develops but uh, I think there is good potential with Impact and Noah as a, as a partnership, I mean I, I must admit I don't really follow Noah but uh, it certainly will give me uh, a reason to maybe check more of their stuff out and uh, hopefully to see how Impact stars get on as well when it over in, in the, you know, the land of the rising sun so uh, let's, let's see how this all develops and uh, I'd like to know your opinions right now in the comments below what are you thinking of the new direction Impact Wrestling is taking it seems that they are all business here and that uh, they certainly have a direction of trying to take the company and move it upwards and forwards but uh, let me know your thoughts right now in the comments below like and share the video subscribe right now and uh, I'll see you next time here on youtube.com this is SCW the wrestling channel hit that bell above more videos will be on the way